Hello everyone! Today we're going to be discussing the components that make up a Mach 4 system. Mach 4 Hobby and Mach 4 Industrial are both incredibly versatile and can be used with a wide range of hardware options. With so many possibilities, this video and the guides within will help you better understand what makes up a Mach 4 CNC system. We'll start with the most basic definition of a system, which includes a computer and software, a motion controller, drives and motors, and the option to include a specialized toolhead and extended functionality. So let's expand on those ideas a little bit. Computer and software includes a PC meeting the minimum specs to run Mach 4, Mach 4 itself, whether hobby or industrial, and plugins. Moving on to their hardware components, we have the motion controller, which includes a motion control device and a breakout board, followed by the drives and motors that move your axes. In an advanced system, you can also have a specialized tool head. This might include a VFD controlled spindle, plasma, an extruder, a water jet, etc. You can also expand your setup to include PLCs, pendants, expanded inputs and outputs, and more. Now let's talk about how these components all work together in a CNC system. Going in order, we first have Mach 4 and its plugins. Mach 4 acts as a unified interface for your system. It is how you, the user, interact with everything else. It can be easily customized and it remains constant despite any hardware changes you might make. Mach 4 uses plugins to communicate with the motion controller. In order to facilitate that communication, you must use a computer with communication ports that are compatible with your motion controller. For example, if your motion controller uses an Ethernet connection, make sure the computer you buy has an Ethernet port. Now for the motion controller. When choosing a motion controller, make sure it has a Mach 4 specific plugin available, as Mach 3 plugins will not work with Mach 4. Let's expand on these ideas a bit. Computer and software includes a PC meeting the minimum specs to run Mach 4, Mach 4 itself, whether hobby or industrial, and plugins, which are device drivers developed by the hardware manufacturer to allow communication with the Mach 4 software. A motion controller that only sends out step and direction signals cannot communicate with motor drives that require analog, for example. Now let's bring breakout boards into the mix. Breakout boards, or terminal strips, are used as landing points for your wiring. Some motion controllers include integrated breakout boards, while others may require you to buy one separately, so make sure you check on that. Moving on to the drives and motors. To reiterate, your drives must use the same communication protocol as your motion controller. If you've picked out drives that use an analog signal, you need to find a motion controller that will output one. If you picked your motion controller first and it sends out step and direction signals, you need to find drives that will accept that. Any drive and motor can be used as long as they all share the same communication protocol with the motion controller. In an advanced system, you have a lot of freedom to add to your setup. You can introduce a control panel, a PLC, a jogging pendant, additional inputs and outputs, and so on. These can all be connected through the breakout board, a motion controller, or with their own plugins. Let's review. A Mach 4 system consists of a computer and software, a motion controller, drives and motors, and sometimes a specialized tool head or extended functionality. The hardware and software require plugins to communicate back and forth. Your hardware components must have compatible ports and communication protocols to function. With these concepts in mind, you can build a system that meets your every need. Stay safe, be creative, and as always, happy CNCing!